the untouchables who were they and why they became untouchables by baba saheb ambedkar part 6 chapter 15 4 if these conclusions are right then this is a case of impurity is distinguished from untouchability the distinction between the two is very clear the untouchable pollutes all while the impure pollutes only the brahman the touch of the impure causes pollution only on a ceremonial occasion the touch of the untouchable causes pollution at all times there is another argument to which so far no reference has been made which completely disproves the theory that the communities mentioned in the dharma sutras were untouchables that argument emerges out of a comparison of the list of communities given in the order in council which is produced in chapter 2 with the list given in this chapter prepared from the smritis what does the comparison show as anyone can see it shows firstly the maximum number of communities mentioned in the smritis is only 12 while the number of communities mentioned in the order of council comes to 429 secondly there are communities which find a place in the order in council but which do not find a place in the smritis out of the total of 429 there are nearly 427 which are unknown to the smritis thirdly there are communities mentioned in the smritis which do not find a place in the order in council at all fourthly there is only one community which finds a place in both it is the charmakar community those who do not admit that the impure are different from the untouchables do not seem to be aware of these facts but they will have to reckon with them these facts are so significant and so telling that they cannot but force the conclusion that the two are different take the first fact it raises a very important question if the two lists refer to one and the same class of people why do they differ differ and differ so widely how is it that the communities mentioned in the shastras do not appear in the list given in the order in council contrary wise how is it that the communities mentioned in the order in council are not to be found in the list mentioned in the shastras this is the first difficulty we have to face on the assumption that they refer to the same class of people the question assumes a serious character if they refer to the same class of people then obviously untouchability which was originally confined to 12 communities came to extend it to 429 communities what has led to this vast extension of the empire of untouchability if these 429 communities belong to the same class as the 12 mentioned by the shastras why none of the shastras mention them it cannot be that none of the 429 communities were not in existence at the time when the shastras were written if all of them were not in existence at least some of them may have been why even such as did exist find no mention on the footing that both the lists belong to the same class of people it is difficult to give any satisfactory answer to these questions if on the other hand it is assumed that these lists refer to two different classes of people all these questions disappear the two lists are different because the list contained in the shastras is a list of the impure and the list contained in the order in council is a list of the untouchable this is the reason why the two lists differ the divergence is in the two lists merely emphasizes what has been urged on the other grounds namely that the classes mentioned in the shastras are only impure and it is a mistake to confound them with the untouchables of the present day now turn to the second if the impure are of the same as the untouchables why is it as many as 427 out of 429 should be unknown to the smritis as communities they must have been in existence at the time of the smritis if they are untouchables now they must have been untouchables then why then did the smritis fail to mention them why what about the third if the impure and the untouchables are one and the same why those communities which find a place in the smritis do not find a place in the list given in the order in council there are only two answers to this question one is that though untouchables at one time they ceased to be untouchables subsequently the other is that the two lists contain names of communities which fall in different categories the first answer is untenable for untouchability is permanent time cannot erase it or cleanse it the only possible conclusion therefore is the second take the fourth why should chamar alone find a place in the lists the answer is not that the two lists include the same class of people if this was the true answer then not only the chamar but all others included in the list given by the smriti should appear in both the lists but they don't 
The true answer is that the two lists contain two different classes of people. The reason why some of those in the lists of the impure appear in the list of untouchables is that the impure at one time became untouchables. That the Chamar appears in both is far from being evidence to support the view that there is no difference between the impure and the untouchables. It proves that the Chamar who was at one time an impure subsequently became an untouchable and had therefore to be included in both the lists. Of the 12 communities mentioned in the Smritis as impure communities, only the Chamar should have been degraded to the status of an untouchable is not difficult to explain. What has made the difference between the Chamar and the other impure communities is the fact of beef eating. It is only those among the impure who were eating beef that became untouchables when the cow became sacred and beef eating became a sin. The Chamar is the only beef eating community. That is why it alone appears in both the lists. The answer to the question relating to the Chamars is divisive on two points. It is conclusive on the point that the impure are different from the untouchables and it is also decisive on the point that it is beef eating which is the root of untouchability and which divides the impure and the untouchables. The conclusion that untouchability is not the same as impurity has an important bearing on the determination of the date of birth of untouchability. Without it, any attempt at fixing the date would be missing the mark. The end.